Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. Hi, I'm Saul Schleimer. This is Quintessence. Quintessence is a family of Burr puzzles based on the geometry and combinatorics of the 120 cell, one of the regular four-dimensional polytopes. As an example, here's the DC36 inner pulsar. This is made from six ribs. Of course, the goal of the puzzle is to put the ribs back together again. For the pulsar, the ribs are identical. Each of its ribs is made of six dodecahedra. This gives the DC36 pulsar its designation. D stands for dodecahedra. C, since the puzzle is part of the cell center projection of the 120 cell to three dimensional space. And 36, since there are a total of 36 dodecahedra in the puzzle. As another example, this is the DC30 ring. We used to call this just the 30 cell puzzle. That was before we discovered all these other puzzles. One more example. Here's the DC75 Meteor, one of the larger puzzles in quintessence. It is made from 11 ribs. There are six different kinds of ribs. The spine, the inner ribs of lengths 4 and 6, the outer ribs of lengths 4 and 6, and the equator. Well, actually, there are two of these which mirror images of each other. We arrange the ribs into three sets, meteor, pulsar, and inflation. Meteor has a spine, six inner fours, and six outer fours. Pulsar has just six outer sixes. Finally, there is inflation, having another spine, six inner sixes, and two mirror image equators. With each set, you can build several puzzles, and with all three sets, you can build anything. All of these sets are available from Shapeways, the links are in the description below. There's also a link to the manual for Quintessence describing which ribs are necessary to build which puzzles. One important point. The plastic ribs have a little flex, and this is necessary to build the puzzles, i.e. a little force is needed. The ribs are made out of nylon plastic. They're very tough, but not invincible. Finally, there's the matter of the name, Quintessence. Plato, in his dialogue Timaeus, speculates that the particles of the four classical elements, namely fire, earth, air, and water, are in fact the platonic solids. For example, fire is made of tetrahedra, because tetrahedra are pointy and sharp, just like fire. But there are five platonic solids and only four classical elements. Well, Plato finesses this issue. He adds a fifth element, i.e. a quintessence. He calls this the ether. The ether was supposedly made out of dodecahedra, just like our puzzles. This is quintessence.